Yeah. Yeah. NCA's uh, Aviwe Mtila, who is on standby. I think I just heard Aviwe uh, shouting there in the backdrop. Aviwe, yesterday we had encouraging sights where we were seeing tens of people being lined up and being arrested. But I see that overnight it seems uh, what, what little control the police had seemed to have achieved in that area, especially around Chris Honey Mall. They seem to have lost that control overnight. What's the situation at this hour? Indeed, uh, when we left here ourselves, the police seem to have been overpowered as the mob from um, Phosphorus eventually went in the mall itself, um, ransacking it completely. We see the mob gathering once more here of the looters. Uh, but there's an, another encouraging development this morning, Batulas. Uh, some 10 minutes ago, the Katlehong People's Taxi Association came in to join in, which you'll see on your left side uh, here. The majority of the people that you see on the road here are basically from that taxi association. And I'm going to try and get in word with some of them. But they've come in saying that uh, they want to salvage what little is left of the mall itself as even this morning when we arrived at the mall we were met by a dead body assuming it was from a stampede just moments ago in speaking to some of the law enforcement officials they tell me there's another dead body also the second um, of the day but I want to grab some of the people from the taxi association to get a word with them Lumkul, thank you man for joining us at ENCA um, Katlehong People's Taxi Association has arrived here. What what's your stance now that you're here? You know, we're here to help, like, to clear up these people, these looters. Like, mm. they must stop looting our facilities, because right now even our business is affected. Mm. Nobody has a job right now. Even us as a taxi association, we, don't know, we no longer have jobs. Mm. So and that's why as taxi association is, we have decided to come here together and try to help the uh, SAPS police to clear up all these looters, because there's looters everywhere. And they are all over. We've seen they them in the morning. They've ransacked um, the mall in its entirety uh, here. It's been happening for a number of days. Uh, Some might say, isn't it a, a bit late for the association to come in this late? No, truly speaking, we are late. We are late. We're trying our best, but some of malls here in Katlion, we have managed to come together and secure it, that they didn't loot, loot on that mall. It's only this one and Sontong, but it's true we are late. Yeah, there are hundreds of them yeah. this very moment. You can see them um, see lurking they're there. Waiting to, they're waiting to come waiting in. waiting for us to move. If you can move here, they want to come back and loot again. This is our people. Look. So will you be here as a taxi association for the majority of the day with the law enforcement? We have to, to help, to help, to help our SAPS to combat all these lootings that is going on here. It's bad here, man. And it is bad indeed. One of the members of the Katlehong uh, People's Taxi Association admitting that they've arrived a little bit late, but they're here nonetheless uh, to try and salvage what little is left um, of the malls around Katlehong. It's not the only mall uh, that has been totally ransacked by the community. Um, in the course of the week, we brought you five others within a 500 meter radius of one another, um, completely ransacked. Uh, similar visuals that you'll see as we walk back in the Chris Hani um, Crossing, the mall itself that has been completely cleaned out by the mob um, around Fort Flores that has been operating for the last six or so days here. Um, with the situation we've seen, the criminal elements here, two bodies re uh, reported dead uh, this morning. CA's Aviwem Dila out in Fosloras this morning, uh, just tracking that situation for us. And he's talking about two more bodies that um, they've been told about um, and that they've seen since arriving in that area. And that will give you a sense. We are reporting at least 72 South Africans dead at this particular point. Uh, it gives you a sense that that number is likely to rise. That is why um, earlier on you heard me say that we can't clothe this under the, you know, 
dignity, dignified as protests. Protests are, are, are permitted and allowed and actually even encouraged uh, in our uh, democratic scheme. What we're looking at, I said it's riots. In fact, it's even riots, uh, it's clothing it in some level of dignity. What we're looking at here is lawlessness, looting, rampant violence, uh, and a breakdown in the rule of law, really. Uh, it, it can't be put any better than that. We, can, we can't clothe it in any dignity, what we are seeing at the moment. So we do expect those numbers to be updated, and it's not just numbers it's people's lives uh, that have been impacted it's people who've lost loved ones um, in this uh, in this chaos